What's up guys, we're back again today with another great video. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be changing the oil in the 2008 Scion TC. Um, if you're a new car enthusiast and you're looking to do something um, for the first time by yourself, changing oil is a great one. Um, it's very easy to do and it'll actually save you a lot of money. And then you also know it's been done correctly because sometimes, you know, you take it to a dealership, take it to, you know, a little uh, lube up shop or places like that and Sometimes they tighten down stuff too tight and different things like that because they're in a rush and they get paid, you know, by a car um, and can mess things up accidentally. Uh, most of the time it's not on purpose, but it does happen. So this will help all those problems go away and actually save you money. All right guys, so I was hoping Taylor would be here. I was actually gonna make her change the oil in the car because um, you guys seen the video where I changed it in her Corolla, I'm sure. Um, but since she's not here, we're gonna go ahead and do it and then maybe next time we have to change the oil, we'll let her do it on either her Corolla or my car and then you know we'll have a little bit of fun with it. We'll see if she's been paying attention when I've changed her car. So let's go ahead and let's get to the products we're using today. So today, as you guys know, in the first gen TCs, you can either use 0W20 or you can use 5W20. So it's just kind of your preference on what you want to do. I've always ran 5W20. Um, my car kind of, I don't know, it just kind of ran a little funny when I ran the OW20 in it. Um, or 0W20 weight in it. And uh, I just didn't like it as much. Um, it's pretty much like a watery base and I didn't like it. So... We're gonna use Mobile One's 5W20 with the uh, Advanced Full Synthetic, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the XG4967 Fram um, oil filter. So this is actually like their gold series, so their top, you know, their top filter at Walmart. And another thing I want you guys to know too, is I actually worked at a Toyota dealership for um, a short time in Clarksville in Tennessee, and they actually used mobile one there. It was just, you know, out of the pumps instead of out of these. So that's one thing that I like to do is I like to keep, you know, what's in the car in the car. So we'll go ahead and I'll jack the car up and then we will take the old filter off the old plug out, let it all drain. And then we'll go ahead and put the new oil filter on, plug in, put the new oil in, and then I'll show you guys how to reset the maintenance light inside your car. All right, guys. So for the TC, you're going to need a 14 millimeter to take off the oil drain plug. Um, and if you can go get one of these, these are really easy and nice to use. It actually goes around your filter on top, and then it's just a lot easier to take off. But if you don't have one of those, um, sometimes you can get them off by hand if you're pretty strong. Um, if you can't get them off by hand, um, one way is you can get some big pliers that open up wide and grip it and take it off and it doesn't really matter if you kind of squeeze it in a little bit, not a big deal. And then if it's on there really, really, really tight, like you've took it to a dealership or something like that, sometimes this happens, they put it on with a tool, super tight, hard to get off. You can actually take a screwdriver and run it through it near the bottom, not up at the top because there's actually a metal, kind of a metal tube that goes down in it. but do it at the bottom, run a screwdriver through it, and you can actually twist it off. Um, but that's kind of like the last resort if it's really torqued down on there. That's kind of the redneck way of doing it. So let's go ahead and we'll go underneath the car and start undoing our drain plug. We have our oil pan here, so let's get to it. Man, I about forgot to tell you guys, I about forgot, this is critical. Always, always, when you're working on your car, take off your negative ground, no matter if you're doing your oil or anything. No, I'm just joking. You ain't got to do all that. So let's go ahead and climb underneath here and get the oil plug out. All right, guys. So we got our 14 millimeter here. Let's go ahead and take off our drain plug. There we go. Then just unscrew it. And you can kind of push it against your oil pan so it don't start shooting the oil out everywhere. And then there you go. All right guys, so while that's draining the rest of the way off, let's go ahead and we'll get this oil filter off as well. So we'll go ahead and put our tool up here. It's a little easier too if you have an extension for this, but if you don't, 
it's not so bad as long as they didn't really torque it down. Okay. Now we can go ahead, take it the rest of the way off by hand. And here it comes. All right. So now there's our old oil filter and our old oil still draining. You can kind of just leave this off for a second and let it drip all that old oil out. And then I always like to take a paper towel and actually wipe all this off right here because that's where your gasket's gonna you know push against the metal and you don't want any debris right there to cause a gap so i'm gonna go clean up and then i'll be right back all right guys so while that's draining we're going to go ahead and get our oil filter ready so if you guys will actually take some of your new oil right here i got some in the cap and just kind of get it on your finger and wipe it around the gasket and that'll lube the gasket up good so it'll make a really good seal on your oil pan so just get enough on there to where it just you know lubes it down good all right so now it is ready to go on the car all right guys so let's go ahead and we'll take our oil plug we'll go ahead and put it back in and then we'll actually we'll go ahead and clean up all this excess oil really quick but you can just put it in there hand tight right now and then you'll take your 14 millimeter and do, you know, one good turn. Just make sure it's good and tight to where it's not going to leak any oil out. All right, so now we're going to take our oil filter, put it on. And when you're putting this on, this is one thing you don't have to get extremely tight. But what you're going to want to do is get it as tight as you can by hand. Make sure it's super tight. And then... If you want to, just to make sure, you can actually take that tool that we used, put on it, and just kind of give it, you know, a half turn. You really don't need to put it on there super tight because it'll actually suck up against it, and you're not going to have to worry about oil leaking out of here as long as it's just super good and hand tight. Like, that's good there because it's going to get tighter as, you know, the engine runs and everything. It's going to suck it up against there. So now let's go ahead and we'll pull this oil pan out and i'll go ahead and tighten up or the oil tray that we've got underneath us i'll pull it out and we'll go ahead and we'll tighten up our drain plug and then we'll be good to add oil in all right so now we're going to go ahead and start adding in our new oil right here like so and you're going to need a funnel too just to make it easier And then once you get this added in, you can kind of check your dipstick. And then once you get it up to, you know, pretty much the fill line on your dipstick, I'll show you guys that. Then you're going to actually start your car, let it run a little bit, and then recheck it. Make sure it didn't suck some of that oil down. And then also, when you start your car, that's when I would lower it down too because you're kind of at an angle here and you're not going to get a good reading. So that's what I always do too because I'm on those wood blocks as well where my car is so low. So I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this and I'll show you guys the next step. So we went ahead and we put the oil in on a 2008 Scion TC. I'm not sure if it switched for the second gens, um, but you guys can just check out your owner's manual or go, you know, go online. Um, there is some owner's manuals online as well. But it is four quarts for a 2008 Scion TC. And as you guys can see, these big bottles, they're five quarts. I always buy those. Um, and, you know, you've got your little marks here. So you got one, two, three right here, and then four. So we put in four. Now we're going to go ahead and check it. We've ran it. Um, we dropped it off the, the jack stands and the, you know, off the wood. So it's sitting flat now so we can get an accurate reading. Um, we're going to make sure it's up to the second dot, and I'll show you guys that in a second, and then we'll be good to go. Sometimes it might take a little bit more, a little bit less. Um, the dipsticks on the TCs are very hard to read when you have clean oil, um, but, you know, as long as you have four in there, you should be pretty good. Just kind of make sure it's on the dipstick, and then once you run it a day, you know, you go to work or something like that, just check it again and make sure it hadn't gone down any. And here's what I was talking about on your dipstick. You want it to be on the second dot. Because if you're at the bottom, that means you're one quart low. So 
we're going to go ahead and we're going to check it make sure it's clean and the next clip you guys see will actually be resetting um, the maintenance required light all right guys so the first step you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn your car on and make sure that it says odo right here i don't know if you guys can see it but odo right there for odometer you're going to turn your key back off all right so now that your key is off you're going to go ahead and hold down your trip counter right here um, i know it's got dark on us so you can't see really good but hold down your trip counter right here while you turn the car on and then you'll see it go away so let's go ahead and we'll perform that now All right, so now it should be reset. So now we'll turn the car back off and then we'll turn it on all the way to see if it's gone. And as you guys can see, the maintenance required light is off now. Um, I hope you guys can see, could see that well. Um, it's kind of hard to film right now just because it's gotten so dark on us. I hate this time change. So, but anyway, like I said before, just push this down and turn your key on and then you'll see the dashes go across. It'll zero out and then your maintenance light will be reset. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope this will help you guys out. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna know how to change your oil, but some people don't. And this is an easy way to get in, you know, to doing your own things on your car. Um, it's kind of a way to break the ice to where you're not afraid to do um, some other things or some other mods on your car. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, you can comment down below and I can either help you or our community can help you. Um, and what's really cool is I actually just checked the mail and our Halo drivers are back in. So in the next video, we'll be doing that. And then hopefully after that, guys, we'll be in the garage and you'll be able to see some kind of um, some different garage tutorials. We're going to hang some more of those Barina lights and different things like that and make some cool videos on some house projects as well. And also doing that NVIDIA S5 like I was telling you guys about because we'll actually have a garage to be able to do it in. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like this video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can race to 2,000 subscribers as fast as possible. And peace out, guys. And remember, build your masterpiece.